longer term challenge, but I think it's very important. Percent of individuals 25 or older with a, a BA degree or higher. We gotta get that number much higher for our state. 25.8% uh, uh, with, uh, with a BA degree or higher. The national number is a heck of a lot better, but that's a long term indicator that we've gotta continue to pay uh, attention to. Let's go to the next one. Just kind of a building on what we have to do. The recovery bill is obviously at the foundation. We have to continue to strengthen the safety net. We've got to make sure that we're investing continually in infrastructure. And of course, when we talk infrastructure, it's not just roads and bridges. Broadband is, is uh, knowledge uh, infrastructure. So credit for small business and smart energy initiatives. Let's go to the next one. Um, I'll try to do this quickly. Three areas, wage insurance, uh, health care, and food assistance. The top line there talks about what, what the recovery bill did already. The second line is current action, either actions that are being in the process of being taken or, or proposed. Uh, I'll just go to the first one on wage insurance. Uh, the DOD appropriations bill included a two-month extension for unemployment benefits. Not long enough, not good enough, but what was able to get done uh, as, at, the, at the last moment when you have a must-pass bill like Department of Defense Appropriations. Uh, the only way to get that done with in the face of Republican opposition, once again. Congress uh, will likely make additional investments in unemployment benefits in the coming months. The second area on health care, the same DOD bill uh, at the end of the year extended eligibility for two months. Sherrod Brown and I from Ohio, Sherrod and I led the fight on this uh, to expand uh, COBRA benefits. We wanted more than two months, uh, but we got it through uh, two months in terms of eligibility, but an additional six months in terms of what you could uh, benefit from. So instead of having a nine-month uh, provision in the recovery bill, we, we got that up to <coughs> 15 months. Still something that we've got to do more on. We have to continually monitor where we are with, uh, with COBRA, for those who are out of work in the healthcare, and with uh, unemployment. Get, tell you a little war story, but it's relevant to what's, how bad things are in Washington uh, between, well, I'll say with the other party. We to be part of it, but here we go. Uh, President Obama had a, a strategy in place uh, to analyze and review and uh, make a very serious uh, consideration about what he would do as it relates to policy in Afghanistan and Pakistan, right? He spent week after week analyzing that. Thank God he did, because I don't want a president who makes a decision about the grave question of war in a couple of weeks, a couple of days. But the Republicans said over and over again, he should do that. He should make this decision very quickly, right? They wanted him to speed up uh, dramatically, and I think dangerously, his consideration of war policy. Okay, I disagreed with that. I thought he took the appropriate amount of time and should have taken that time. You can disagree with his conclusion, but you can't disagree. I don't think. The, the kind of due consideration that he took. So even as they were saying, speed up your consideration of war policy, do it quickly in a matter of days or weeks, right? They said, they said on the unemployment insurance extension. So something that we know works, that doesn't require a lot of head scratching, they delayed week after week after week after week in the Senate. So the Republicans blocked for several weeks in the fall of 2009 unemployment insurance extensions, but they wanted the president to move quickly in a matter of days or weeks on what he would do on the grave question of war. So that's what we're up against here. That's, that's the kind of ideology, the kind of partisanship, the kind of blockage that we have to deal with every single day of the week. You would think they could at least agree with us that unemployment insurance, in the midst of the worst economic uh, period in our history other than Great Depression, that that would be something we could all agree on, that we could extend unemployment insurance for those who happen to be Republicans who are out of work and Democrats who are out of work. But no, the Republican Senate uh, wouldn't go along with unemployment insurance until we kind of wore them down. But that took weeks of work, weeks of work uh, to do that. But that's what we're 